is, it's Sunday, and I want to share my outfit with you. Um, this is really soft, and it almost looks, Chris says it looks like a robe, <laughs> but it's not. It's a, like, loungewear. You can wear it out. It's from Ellie Box. I showed it, I think I showed it last week to you guys, too, or at least on my Instagram. It's so, so soft. Um, so I'm wearing it today with one of the little camis that I've shown you guys from Amazon. I love these. They're so feminine and beautiful. So I just had that and some um, of my Ellie Box leggings on, too. And this is going to be my look for the day. Today, the family's coming over for dinner. So usually we do Sunday night um, dinners with the family at Mama Beast, but I like to have them every so often here, especially when my brother and his girlfriend comes too, so that we have a nice big space. So my parents are going to bring some barbecue. Chris and I are going to barbecue and make some salad and some sides. And yeah, we're going to do that later tonight. Right now though, I'm going to make a little bit of brunch. Um, I'm just going to have some eggs, scrambled eggs with cheese, and then some biscuits. So let's go ahead and go do that. Getting all the meats ready for Chris to barbecue tonight. We got two different sauces. This is the jerk chicken sauce that we got in Jamaica on our honeymoon. Jam down jerk sauce. It's spicy and super delicious. If you ever go to Sandals Resorts and they have this, 100% suggest it. And I'm kind of sad that we're almost out of it. So we have that and I already marinated the chicken breasts here there's just skinless boneless thin chicken patties in there that's been marinating in a jerk sauce oh gosh i got it on me and then we got some organic um beef burger patties for those then we got the turkey burger patties i'm sorry not turkey chicken burger patties that i've showed you guys before that we really like and then these are like the pre-grilled already or like already cooked chicken skewers from costco but i'm gonna have chris barbecue both of these as well even though they're pre-cooked just to get a little char on them and we're most likely going to use these for our uh, meals during the week and these two things will be for our dinner tonight as well as tri-tip that my stepdad is grilling on his grill and bringing with him and he's also bringing potatoes and I'll be making a big salad so that's what we're going to be having for dinner tonight oh that chicken's going to be good Oh, I didn't show you what the other barbecue sauce is. This is just the Kraft Slow Simmered Original Barbecue Sauce. Um, it's a little on the sweeter side, in my opinion, but the boys really like this one, too. I know my stepdad really likes that one, too, so we have that one, too. For All right, you guys, I just went to my P.O. box, and I have good news and bad news. <laughs> so good news is I have corrected everything that was a mess with them this year, this past year. I spoke to someone today. What's gonna happen is they are now putting my box as priority for putting my packages in a um, separate parcel box so that I don't have to go to the front to sign off on anything. Um, that has been the problem. Packages have been sent back to you guys. Packages have been sent back to PR companies. Um, it's been a hot mess because they were putting slips in my box saying that I needed to pick it up from them, but I. I live, um, I live and I work so far from where I have my P.O. box, there was no way to get it by 5 o'clock. I get off work at 5. So, and they're only here Monday through Friday. <laughs> of course. So, I'm really sorry if that had happened to you last year and that you were so thoughtful and sent me something and it got returned to you. I feel completely horrible if that happened because you spent your hard-earned money to send me something and it didn't come through, but it should never happen again going forward. I have their word. So let's hope that that happens, but I did have some cards. Um, they are from Christmas, and I'm sorry that I didn't share these with you guys beforehand, um, but I wanted to share them still now, and I love that this says Melissa Bruner Parada. And this is from Rally. Oh my goodness, how cute. I This makes me so happy. Oh my gosh, there's a beautiful note. You have great handwriting. It's at Rally's Beauty. Is it Beauty Highway? Yeah, at Rally's Beauty Highway is her Instagram. So go check her out. Oh, she said, you are so sweet. Thank you so much. That's a beautiful sentiment. I didn't want to read it all to you guys since I don't know if she would want that. And then I have another one that says the Bruner family. There's a question mark on it because I bet um, the the 
P.O. Box was like, what, Bruner? <laughs> because it still says Melissa Parada on there. I need to do all my name change stuff still, guys. I'm a little bit dreading it. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I love this card. So this card is from Leah, from Leah Tackles. I will make sure to leave her down below. It's her family's Christmas card. They are so freaking cute. I love it. Thank you, Leah. I am totally gonna keep that, those. And um, I just had to send a package out to my bestie for a belated gift. So she'll be receiving that shortly too. Hmm, it doesn't say their name, but it's from Canada. I really wanna visit Canada. And I also really want to visit Alaska. A Christmas wish for you. It's from Julie. Thank you, Julie. She said, I wanted to take some time to write, um, write to you to wish you a Merry Christmas. I also want you to know I truly enjoy your vlogs. I wish for you in 2020 lots of good health and loving, happy moments. P.S. Say hi to Mama B. Wishing you all the happy things this very speci special holiday brings. Thank you, Julie. Oh my gosh, it's so much fun opening these belated, even though I know you guys probably would have preferred me to open them sooner. So I am making you a promise this year. I took care of the P.O. Box problems so that we won't have that issue. And I am making you guys a promise that I will come to my P.O. Box once a week to make sure there is nothing in my box that I am missing talking about okay. here. I've got to now go to O'Reilly's, which is an auto body part shop. What? Yeah, me wearing like pink. I'm gonna show you the shirt in a little bit because it's so cute. It's from FNB Instagram, um, Feather Nest Boutique. But I'm like wearing super girly stuff and going to an auto body shop because Chris asked me to pick up these brake pads for him. He's replacing them himself on his car. So I'm gonna go grab those. Luckily he called ahead and told him to hold them for me because I was kind of panicking about them. Like, I'm not gonna know what to get. So thankfully, Plus, I didn't want them to take advantage of me. You know what I mean? Like, oh, this girl doesn't know what she's talking about. Let's just give her the most expensive stuff. So, anyways, we I'm going to go pick that up now. And then Mama B and I are going to go to Walmart and maybe Ross because I need some new jeans. And I don't want to buy expensive jeans quite yet because I'm not at my goal. So, I figured I would buy some inexpensive jeans. I've heard really good things about the ones at Walmart. Um, I don't really usually shop there for, especially not for clothes, usually just for groceries sometimes, but I've heard good things. So I want to try them out in person. I could have ordered them online, but I don't really know what size I am because I'm just fluctuating so much right now. And I only have one pair of jeans that fit me. All the other ones were too big and I donated them. Um, so yeah. Speaking of that, I have to do that too. I have to go to Goodwill today. I have so much on my list to do. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Mama V's here. <laughs> okay, so we're at the Walmart dressing room. I wanted to share with you guys really quick the jeans I was talking about. So they're on clearance for $11. And this is the size 11. They're cute. And they're in the junior section, so make sure to look there. And, what's and the these are uh, the No Boundaries line. This is what it's called, sculpting skinny, super slimming, they are. and they definitely are. These are the, and I usually don't look good in light wash jeans, but these are nice. I'll show you the, kind of try to show you the butt area too. Oh, oh. <laughs> so yeah, so I need to check and see how much these are, I'm not sure, but these are the Sofia Vergara. 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 Uh, Vergara, okay, Vergara jeans and I went down a size in these because they're very stretchy I have a 10 in these um, but these are also a little bit high-waisted I like the button detail though I'll try to link anything that I'm talking about if they have it online but these are more like that boot cut and they're really comfortable like they're even more comfortable than the other ones yeah those are nice yeah they're good so Mama B and I are here at Pita Jungle for lunch. I just wanted to show you guys, look how cool this wallpaper is. I figured none of you would probably see something like this unless you live in Texas or Arizona, but I thought it was super cute. It looks almost painted on. They're at home goods. They have, what? She's freaking out about something. Oh. <laughs> That is very cute. We've seen a lot of honeybee stuff lately.
So look what I just got in the mail from Michelle from Massachusetts. Thanks so much, Michelle. She is so awesome and found these mugs for me. And as you guys can probably guess, all of the bee-themed New Ray Dunn stuff that have these little bee symbols are so important for me to find. I am um, want them, I want all of the ones that have the yellow interior like this with the bees. So there's Honey Bee, which is the one that I was most looking for and then queen bee and there's also one that says let it be and then be still be happy i think those are the only the only ones i'm missing and then there is a queen bee canister as well which i don't necessarily need but i did want the mugs because when it's not a seasonal holiday i'm gonna have the like a bee all the bee mugs on here on the rack here i thought that would be really cute so yeah, thank you so much, Michelle. You were awesome for sending these my way and they will get lots of love. I absolutely love them. And actually, I'm gonna bring this mug over to my little three-tiered stand that is now in our dining room. Um, I don't think I showed you guys this last week. I put this together last weekend and I think it looks really cute. So I'm actually gonna replace this honey mug here with this one with the honeybee one and then this goes on the top here look how stinking cute that is you guys i can't so these little guys are salt and pepper shakers this i got at the target dollar spot a little bit ago i just put a little bow on here it looks like got a little mangled Put a little bow on there. And then this little guy, this little wood be happy bee, my mom found at an antique fair. And then these bowls were made in Portugal. I got them at Home Goods. I love those. This little hand towel that says home with a little bee in it, I also found at Home Goods. Got a little honey pot there. Also found at Home Goods but a while ago, but I, I still see these every so often. I'll show you the other side in a second, but how cute is that? I love it. Then from this side, I have this little sign that says my favorite place to be home. And then this little um, fake plant is from the dollar spot at Target as well. This I got as a gift, so I'm not sure where they purchased that. And this mug is not Ray Dunn, but I did find it at Home Goods, and I just thought it was so cute. I loved the art on it and it says be grateful amen to that hey guys i totally forgot to vlog earlier today um i washed my hair this morning so i'm extra curly <laughs> and i just have my i am well you can't really see i have a dress on but you've seen it before it's that blue on with the flower pattern and i got my amazon earrings on again because they're just so cute i totally will wear these all year long by the way not just for valentine's time but today was like not a super busy day at work. So it was really nice because I got a lot of extra things done that needed to get done that sometimes you can't get done when you have lots of patients. So that was nice. And Chris and I carpooled today and I am pumped for some Taco Tuesday because I am starving. I am literally starving right now. I forgot my snack on the counter today. So that's why I'm so hungry. I literally have had... Well, luckily my, the doctor I work for, she had like a jar of peanut butter at work. So I had like a tablespoon of peanut butter <laughs> to hold myself over with a little protein. So I had that and I did have a smoothie this morning. So yeah, I'm ready to grab on some tacos and watch Bates Motel because that is what Chris and I are watching right now. I've seen the entire um, four seasons with Mama Bee a while ago, but we're rewatching it and it's so good. We're on, I think we're just starting season three and we've gotten through it so quickly because we just love it. And we've also been watching that 70s show from the beginning again, um, just because it's fun to watch, you know, when we're not doing anything, not watching anything important. Good morning, you guys. I am finishing up my makeup right now. I have eyeliner, mascara, and brows, and lips to do. Holy, I better start moving. But I have something really exciting that's gonna happen today. And I think some of you aren't going to be excited and some of you are going to be excited. And if it doesn't end up happening because I chicken out, then I probably won't put this clip in. Or maybe I will. 
um, but I am getting my lips done today. Um, I'm only doing a half of a syringe and I will go over all the details once I'm at work so I can tell you actually I'll probably film Dr. Auckland too and tell you guys like I'll have Janet film um, it so I can put it on Instagram and stuff for you guys too so I'll make sure to have my Instagram linked right here because I'll probably have a whole whole Insta story today on it um, but yeah I'm sharing a syringe with someone because I don't want too much over volume um, I know some people like with that really plumpy fake looking pout but I don't want that I really like my lips my lips and um, the shape of them but I want my top lip just to be a little bit more elevated so like this just like slightly and she'll probably put a little bit in my bottom to balance it out again so it's not gonna honestly it's not gonna be that dramatic um, but that's going to be done on purpose. I want them to look super natural and I like my lips. It's not to change them too much, you know? Um, so yeah, I'm really excited. I'm going to be using Juvederm, which is an Allergan brand. Um, and yeah, I'll, I'll make sure to show you the before and after. Later when I do them though, they'll, they'll be swollen, so it'll probably look more dramatic than it will. But since this today is Thursday and I'll still be filming for this week's vlog until Saturday evening, I'll be able to show you the progression and kind of my opinion on everything. But Dr. Auckland is like amazing, amazing with lips. She does the most beautiful, natural looking um, filler. So I really trust her. Good morning, you guys. Okay, I'm sorry that I didn't show you more than a before and after photo yesterday. And I had that footage from Instagram that I put on here too. My lips are so swollen today. Um, so they were, they're not gonna look like this. So don't freak out. I freaked out a little. <laughs> Internally, not out. But yeah, my top lip is so swollen. Like it's three times as big as it's going to be. Um, the picture that I showed you, that's how they're gonna look, but right now my body's like F you and it's just swelling them up so much. So I look crazy. So it's going to be probably for the next two days. Also, I got a massive bruise in the inside of my lip here. Other than that, it's great. <laughs> um, I just don't want you guys to freak out and be like, you really? I promise I didn't. It's just swelling. Um, I have a pretty high pain tolerance, so it didn't really hurt in my opinion. I had numbing cream, but I'm not going to lie to you guys. It, it, I know that a lot of people, I work for cosmetic, the, the cosmetic surgeon that did my lips. I work for her and I know that everyone says the lips are the most in pain, most painful injectable, like most painful more painful than Botox or getting filler in your cheeks or anywhere else, essentially. Even the under eye, people say the lips are the most sensitive. And um, I definitely felt a few of the punctures. So she did, that's why my top lip is so swollen because she put the half, a, I only did a half a syringe of Juvederm Ultra Plus and the majority of the half a syringe went into my top lip. And then she did go around the perimeter um, of my bottom lip. So that's why my bottom lip really isn't that swollen. The, um, Allergan, who who is the um, company that produces Juvederm, the rep was at our office yesterday, and that's why I got it done yesterday. Um, me and one other girl who's a medical student, her name's Jenna. Hey, Jenna, if you're watching. She did the other half of the syringe, and so it was kind of like an opportunity for me to get it done. Um, 
And the reason I've been wanting to do this for years, so many years, I've been talking about it here on my channel forever. Um, but the reason it made it so much easier for me to just like go and do it is because the opportunity was presented to, you know, from the, from the allergen rep and, um, the doctor was okay with us only doing a half a syringe each instead of just one of us doing a full syringe. So, um, that's what convinced me. So I put Jeffree Star liquid lipstick in mannequin on my lips and... I feel like I should not wear any lip stuff today just because of how swollen they are, but I don't know. I'm getting used to them, kind of. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyways, definitely, definitely Kylie Jenner lips today, but hopefully you, I'm filming this so that you guys can see the um, progression from yesterday non-swollen to today really swollen. Hopefully tomorrow will be less swollen. And then Sunday, the vlog will already be up so you won't see like the final, final unswollen, but I'll be sure to post on Instagram too so you guys can see. Okay, okay you guys, you know it's Friday cheat day and they brought us uh, some Taco Bell, but they have this new thing called the Buffalo Chicken Nacho Fries. Now, it might not look appetizing, but it smells good and I love me some nacho fries, so I'm excited to try this and I love buffalo chicken. So I'm about to leave work, but I totally forgot to <laughs> share with you guys um, how the fries were, those buffalo chicken nacho fries. Oh my Lord. They were actually really good and they're $2.99 only at Taco Bell. I think they have a burrito version as well. It's one of those things though, cause I don't like soggy food, um, like the first couple bites were really good and then the fries started getting like really soggy and it wasn't as good So it's one of those things that you don't really need to eat the whole thing Like you can have a, a couple bites and be satisfied and not have to eat the entire thing because the entire thing I think is 400 calories. So it's a, a lot of calories Um, but I mean it's fast food. It's Taco Bell. What are you expecting? I know actually you can find some pretty decently low calorie things at Taco Bell. They're one of the I'm the ones that have a couple, a couple of options, but I just thought I would share something naughty food wise with you guys because um, I feel like, you know, it can get boring if I'm just always talking about healthy stuff. So um, yeah, I just thought that was something fun to share with you. And now I'm off to visit my brother first and then um, pick up Gavin from Boys and Girls Club. I might try to film a video. Fridays are like my one day to film and that's why I always have a ponytail on because usually Fridays are my day three hair and I always have to have a ponytail so if you're like wondering why on my videos I have a ponytail that's why because Friday is my filming day um but yeah I just wanted to check in with you guys and I think Chris and I are going to go to dinner and also a movie to see Little Women. My brother's moving into his new house today and I'm helping to move some stuff. We've got paintings and clothes and stuff in here. So I was just cleaning up the fridge a little bit at Saturday morning, and I wanted to show you guys that I was not joking when I said this is my favorite of the Built Bars, the chocolate coconut cream. Oh my goodness, this one just tastes like a candy bar, like an Almond Joy. Um, a little less sweet, because Almond Joys are a little overly sweet in my opinion. Um, but this, yeah, it has real chocolate on it. It's so good. And like I told you guys in the weight loss video, they're 110 calories, 15 grams of protein, six grams of fiber, and only four grams of sugar and fat, which is amazing. So a lot of the time, if I want a sweet treat, this is what I have. And this, I've tried a lot of the flavors, but these are my favorite. And the banana chocolate are really good. The raspberry chocolate are really good too. And the new one that's like a peanut butter brownie, I have not I'm tried. I'm about to go grocery shopping for Super Bowl because we are having Super Bowl at our house tomorrow. Um, I'm going to be real with you guys. I have had a hard morning with Gavin. Teens, you know, they like to test. They like to test a little too much sometimes. So I went and got myself a Diet Coke, but this is like a different, like a special Diet Coke. It's Diet Coke with coconut. It tastes really good. Of course, I'm sure the coconut syrup has like a little bit of sugar, but... I'm not gonna kill myself over it. I only got a 16 ounce this small. It's really good. My lips have definitely, the swelling has gone down significantly. 
you can barely tell a huge difference. I feel like just my top lip is a little bigger. I do have the bruise still going on down here, but for the most part, they are looking really awesome. I love them. Very natural, not too crazy. But I'm gonna tell you one thing. Winco right now, it is crazy. Can't say the same for Winco right now. All right, let me get my butt inside.